we've had some concerns over the past few years. I mean, being parents, we have a two-year-old and our daughter just turned five and she's off to kindergarten. But for the past few years, we've been really debating on where to send her, right? Yeah, because obviously she's a, a biracial child and, you know, it's, uh, so she's kind of part of both worlds. That was a big concern for yeah. us because we, we didn't want her being forced to pick a side. The problem is that it's, there's not really a school for biracial children that exists that, that we know of, and especially in our area. So it's, it's a tough call because we don't want her to go to an all-white school. We don't want her to go to an all-black school. With, but there's no, no nowhere in the middle really, so it's it's a, it's been a, a tough uh, challenge that we've had to try to figure out. She's aware that she's she's not like the white kids, but I don't. So she she can't really 100% relate to them, and she can't relate to kids that are darker skinned than her. So it's it's you know you can tell there's a lot going on in her head, and we just yes. want her to be uh, to be comfortable with herself. And um, and that's an important thing. I mean, she's, I've seen her in tears. Um, I remember that more you weren't here and she was just crying. She didn't um, like her curly hair. She wanted her hair to be straight like her friends. And this really breaks me up because, and it's very difficult to talk about because I, kind of knew this would, would probably happen. I was prepared for it. I just didn't realize it would come this early. It was like three years old. She was right? three. She identifies with being tan and she, she'll say blonde. She considers herself to be more along the, I don't know, I don't want to say white side, but she'll say she's tan. I mean, the other day she even said to me, mommy, I wish your skin was more like us because obviously she looks more like her dad and her brother. And that's something that, again, I was just like, okay, we need, we need to do some work here. Who knows what the world's going to be like, you know, yeah. 15 years from now when she's in college and so forth. So it's, you know, I think it's just a matter of just her knowing, knowing herself and, and who she is and where but she that's comes from. Hard, that's, I mean, that, and I don't want to say it's a hard part, but that's a challenge we have, have as parents. And so far, we've taken those steps. Uh, we practice different hairstyles. We pick them out. We try them out. Uh, we do books. We have conversations. Uh, we encourage questions. Uh, if your kid is a little bit on the shy side, you break out this book. Hey, let's read this book. And they're like, oh, okay. And it may get them to talk about it more. Uh, and I've noticed that with her. It certainly did help. How, did, how does this affect him? Well, I mean, it's going to be... Uh interesting because he's he's a lot lighter than our daughter so mm -hmm. and also he's a boy so I don't think boys you know at least for myself it wasn't something that boys talked about <laughs> you know so and boys don't talk about their hair and the fact that he has curly hair I don't, I don't know that that's gonna be something that's going to be as much of an issue for him um, but he's definitely a, a, a you know a lot lighter than her and can pass for white I mean, it's, 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 it's interesting. If I'm not around. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they do think I'm the nanny, though, if I'm around and I'm with the kids. I think when the boys are younger, it does the color thing is not an issue, fitting in. I think they'll just play with just about anything. Anyone, <laughs> excuse me. They'll play with just about anyone. But when he gets older, like teenage years and early adulthood, I, I do worry because they, the, as the saying goes, one drop of color equals black or whatever and I worry about him going out with friends and getting into trouble and I think that's something that we also have to be mindful of I mean we have a long ways but let me tell you it comes fast yeah. you know so it's like right now in the early stages it's our daughter we're kind of like you know really really um, focusing on and as he gets older we're gonna play it by ear I hate to say it but it's gonna be a little easier for him than somebody who's a little darker darker skin because oh. the, the cops are you know not to say he won't be profiled because he doesn't he, you know he might not look a hundred percent white but yeah it, it's you know it's unfortunate but it seems like the darker the skin the more right. you know these kids get profiled it's, so, yeah. which is sad it's but. sad would be interested in knowing what you think and what you have to say especially if you are a product of a biracial um, 
marriage or you are biracial yourself or you have biracial kids or multiracial kids would love to know right yeah all right that's it for now bye